Yo, what's good, everybody? We got another Beers with Barton. It is Thursday, Thirsty Thursday, March 17th, 2022. Hope everyone's having a great week. Today, of course, is St. Patty's Day, one of my favorite holidays, not just because I get to pretend to be Irish for the day, um, which I am not at all Irish. Um, I'm Scottish. But my lovely wife is Irish, which means my lovely daughter is. Um, I don't know what their percentage is, but they definitely have some. Uh, so anyways, it's a cool holiday, and um, it's just a great, fun holiday to celebrate. But it's also because March Madness usually officially starts around this time, and it has started today. Officially, it tipped off about 12.15 today, and uh, there's games, I mean, like every hour to like midnight tonight and tomorrow, and then there's games um, this weekend pretty much every other hour um, <clears throat> or so. So it's one of my favorite weekends, but uh, St. Paddy's Day happens to fall on the opening day of March Madness, so fantastic. And of course, I didn't wear any green today because I got to work from home, and uh, you know, I do live in America, so I love my shirtless, 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 uh, um, sleeveless shirts and uh, my American flag. But anyway, St. Paddy's Day, March Madness, super excited for it. Uh, this week was, has been a long one, it's been a different one. Um, went back to the office again uh, for the first time in just about two years almost to the day and the first time ever for Wells Fargo as I started there back in October. So my buddy, Danny Yukon Dimes, um, he actually went to Yukon, he's from the area. He came and worked at Lowe's um, in 2019. I think he came about August time frame, give or take. Um, we worked together for a few months until I moved over to Moody's. And he works at Wells Fargo now. Um, he's actually been there a little bit longer than me, a couple months. So he was in the office too. Saw him on Tuesday for the first time in probably a year. I think we grabbed a beer at some point uh, um, a while ago. And so at least I got... Uh, I got my buddy back, uh, someone that I can hang out with. We have lunch and at least uh, try to, to get through the craziness of the day, sitting back in an office wearing dress pants. It's very weird. It's been a long week. Um, had an appointment this morning uh, and then um, was got to work from home the rest of the afternoon. Thursday, Friday is my work from home days as of right now. Um, and then uh, so tomorrow will be nice. So. All right, guys, St. Patty's Day, been watching it. Uh, North Carolina tipped off about an hour ago. It's 5.40, um, it's halftime. It's 53 to 24 Tar Heels over Marquette. So things are looking good. If they hold on to this, they will play Baylor, the number one seed uh, on Saturday, uh, which would be tough. But hey, some people got them upsetting Baylor and then upsetting UCLA and playing Kentucky in the Elite Eight. I don't have my bracket like that, but the Tar Heels can do that. The Tar Heels can, win this game, I'll be very happy. If they beat Baylor, I'll be thrilled. Anything after that is house money. So we'll see how it goes. But St. Patty's Day, Michaela's got dance tonight. So uh, the lovely beers of Miss Beers with Barton is going to take her here in a bit. We're getting some mac and cheese rolling, and we're just going to enjoy the night. Uh, we're not having corned beef and cabbage. I wanted to, but uh, we couldn't make anywhere for dinner with Michaela having dance. Um, and Jessica and I actually had a late lunch, so we're probably not hungry anyway. So we got to do what we got to do. It's the Guinness, you know, man, 14.9 ounce or this one. Um, I don't even know what the APV of it is. When I started drinking beer, I always thought this was like a really heavy, it's only 125 calories, a really heavy beer because of the thickness. I don't really know much about beers. Well, now that I drink more beer than I probably should, um, it's actually not that heavy i mean there's a thickness to it a good mouthfeel but i think it's like five and a half percent um this one tastes really really good I actually um out of a tap an approved tap so we'll pour that kind of low and let it sit but uh, i want to say guinness is five and a half percent um maybe a little off i'm not surprised they actually don't have the apv on here they usually do um yeah unless i'm missing it which Anyways, um, I'll find it out. But I want to think five and a half percent. So we're going to see how this one goes. It's going to be smooth, solid, full flavored. I'm enjoying the rest of the evening. Uh, the weather's been fantastic, actually. Jessica and I uh, went and took a walk this afternoon um, in shorts and a t-shirt. Uh, it was in the mid-60s. Nice, beautiful sun. So 
We're enjoying it. Spring is here. March Madness is here. And the other thing is, you may have seen this little guy kind of hanging out as... I don't drink a lot of Jameson anymore. Um, I'm more on the bourbon trail. But uh, Jameson's kind of got a little bit of a special place in my heart. Years and years and years and years ago, probably before I moved out here, 15, maybe even 20, um, my brother, younger brother and I enjoyed some Jameson. And one night we're hanging out at uh, my parents' house. Um, I think I was living in Sacramento with Jessica at the time. And, uh, you know, my dad was like, hey, what are you drinking on? What's going on there? We're like, that's ah, you know, Irish whiskey, dad. It's great. And, you know, he always jokes. He's Scottish. That's ah, probably not as good as uh, anything the Scots could make. Which he wasn't a big drinker. He'd have wine from time to time. But he uh, he had a shot with us. We poured my brother, uh, Justin, and I, and my dad uh, all had a shot. And I just remember him being like, ah, it's actually not that bad. So it's just kind of been our thing uh, since then. Anytime my brother and I have, were able to get together, it's been many years. We'd always uh, have a Jameson in uh, remembrance of my dad. Um, and so obviously I try to drink it on St. Patty's Day, but um, when I do, it's always for you, Dad, I miss you. I've been gone for almost 10 years. Um, and I still am pretty sure you'd say, hey, that's not that bad. So this one's for you, Dad. Happy St. Patty's Day. <sighs> ah, it's not that bad. Cheers. Well, that went down smooth. Well, that's it, everybody. That's uh, that's the St. Patty's Day. It's the March Madness. It's uh, one of my favorite days, especially this year because I'm not in the office. Uh, so, cheers again to St. Patty's Day. Cheers again to my dad. Hope everyone's having a great day and uh, enjoying their family um, and time together and just uh, loving life. It's not that bad. Until next time, deuces.